Hi friends, Siddharth again. You know, in Germany nowadays, in 2022, there is an exceptionally high requirement of IT security professionals. Now, IT security professional doesn't mean that you need to be a, cert a certified ethical hacker or kind of a red teamer or blue teamer. You can be in any profile like network security, administrator, system administrator, database manager, or maybe even data analyst or stuff like that. So in case if you qualify in any such job profiles, I'll strongly recommend please have a look at this video because I'm going to tell you what, what has exceptionally happened in Germany these days and why there is a, such a huge requirement of IT security professionals. Friends, you must be aware that in Europe there is a very stringent rule that's known as GDPR that normally pertains about the privacy uh, of uh, content or of the users but now IT security in general is of extreme focus these days especially because of two reasons. First of all, uh, German government and specifically the cyber security cell of German government that is known as BSI has introduced a new law uh, regarding the critical infrastructure in Germany. Now I'll tell this critical infrastructure in more detail later on but as per the new law before 1st of May 2023, that is almost like one year from today, every critical infrastructure has to be protected with a Angriff Arkenung system. That is uh, a kind of a system which uh, recognizes any IT security breach or any IT security related threats or attacks. In general, in technical terms, you can say it is mandatory to install or implement IDS, that is intrusion detection system, intrusion prevention system, it can also be a SIEM tool, SIEM tool, or it can be in general a SOC. So friends, the nutshell is, in next one year, there is a huge requirement of IT security professionals anywhere in these profiles, which pertains to IDS, IPS, SOC, SIEM, or, or you can say firewall management, antivirus management, it could be of any type related to IT security. Now the second reason is because of this Russian uh, attack on Ukraine. Now you must be knowing that Germany is a strong supporter uh, of Ukraine. Now it is expected or you can say suspected that in recent, that in future times uh, there will be a lot of uh, cyber uh, security related breaches or uh, attacks on German critical infrastructure. For that reason friends there is a huge requirement nowadays in every company I'll 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 blind I can blindly say in every company which is related with critical infrastructure in Germany, they are looking for IT security analysts, IT security professionals. Uh, trust me friends, I have been looking for, for security related job in Germany since last five years because I have been uh, here last two years, but I was preparing to come to Germany since 2017. And trust me friends, I have never seen such a huge requirement of security professionals as I see in last three or four months. Now let me give you a brief about how IT security or cyber security works in Germany. See friends, German government has recognized some critical infrastructure that could be, uh, you know, companies or agencies which are uh, involved with, let's say, healthcare, could be energy suppliers, could be telecom and uh, communication uh, companies, or maybe medical, uh, medical healthcare, or maybe, you know, nutritions. I'll show in detail in my uh, laptop screen right away. but. I strongly recommend friends, please Google right away which companies or which uh, firms are involved with critical infrastructure in Germany and right away shoot your resumes to them. In case if you are seriously interested in finding a job in Germany related to cyber security, I strongly recommend friends, please have a look at my other videos because you need to make a specific German template style resume. It could be in English language as well. And of course, your cover letter is most important here. So don't blindly send your resumes. You will probably stuck a wall and your resume will be rejected right away. Please have a look at my other videos wherein you can find the best ways to apply for companies in Germany. Another way to find a job in Germany is to come on Job Seekers Visa. I have made multiple uh, dozens of videos on Job Seekers Visa. However, that's kind of a lengthy process and that may take a lot of time and efforts and maybe some amount of money as well. Well, that money would be only, you know, the documented price, uh, maybe the cost of visa or processing charges or something. You need not pay anything to any consultant and any agent. That's everything is documented. So job seekers visa is one thing that you can consider uh, if you are seriously planning to have a career in Germany. 
Apart from this, friends, in recent times, I have seen a huge number of people who have got job right away while they were applying or they were working in their home country. So this is now this is specifically because due to Corona times, uh, this job seekers visa is put on hold in some countries or in some embassies, and uh, the workflow, the manpower flow is very much constrained here. So many people are finding jobs while uh, they are sitting in their home country only. So this is the right time, friends. In case if you are seriously planning to have a job in Germany, right away apply to companies, up, uh, and you might be the one who will get job when you are in your home country as well. Now another question that many people ask me is what type of certifications we should do specifically related with IT security. So friends, I would rather suggest go for the low hanging fruits first. Don't just blindly go for CISSP uh, stuff like that or OSCP which are which are in my opinion really hard to get. I would rather suggest go for initial certifications like certified ethical hacker or maybe ISO 27001 lead auditor or CompSystia type of stuff uh, which are basic uh, certifications which gives you an edge over others who are not certified. Now, uh, now many people ask me uh, for ISO 27001 lead auditor certification many companies offer it like TUV etc. So friends in my opinion uh, international certification is only that you require and the knowledge associated with it. Which company gives you that certification is in my opinion not very important. So I would rather suggest go for any ISO 27000 lead auditor certification or any other certification from any recognized and international company. Of course, um, you know, in case if you get a certification from your institute, um, uh, I, I would rather say that may not be accepted here at all. So any international certification will do. Of course, the knowledge is more important. Certification only helps you your resume to get uh, to the table of the recruiter or to the hiring manager. But then when you will be interviewed, you are expected to give uh, to show your knowledge level as well. I would now take you to my laptop screen. I would like to narrate you in brief how the IT security infrastructure or the cyber security setup in Germany looks like. As I said, there are some critical infrastructure which has been identified by German government and they are the areas where you should focus upon because they are the ones who are aggressively looking for IT security professionals. Let's dive in. So let me go to website of BSI. The first thing that I would do is simply in Google, I have to type in BSI Germany. And the first website that comes up, that is bsi.bund.de. That is the original website that we have to log into. And here we are. As you see friends, this is the website, uh, which I strongly recommend that please get yourself familiarized with it. Here you will find all important information, all compliance, principles, guidelines, everything is there in this website. Um, now as you have seen, this website is in English right now, but unfortunately most of the information stays only in German site. So I would rather go into the German version, which is actually the original version of this site. And here we are. And now you see. Bundes Amt für Sicherheit in der Information Technik 1830. So this is the website. This is the original full form of BSI. And on this web page only, on the home page of this site, you see BSI want for them Einsatz von Kaspersky Wernerschutz Produkten. Now here you can observe the shadow of Ukraine-Russia war because BSI is recommending to stop using Kaspersky antivirus because this antivirus product comes from Russia and reliability of this product is questioned these days. So here you will see the most updated information about uh, cyber security aspects in Germany. And the most important thing that I wanted to point out uh, here was just go to Themen and Allgemein Infos zur Kritis. Now Kritis uh, as you might have uh, estimated by now, is critical infrastructure. So here you see, these are the areas which Germany considers as critical and these guys are the ones uh, who are aggressively looking for IT security professionals. And I strongly recommend 
please check out the website of these um, these players these organizations these agencies and try to find out um, a job for yourselves you will certainly find one for you also we will proceed the first sector is energy that is the electricity coal thermal power uh, hydro power plants or something gesundheit is the medical infrastructure it and tk is information technology and the telecommunication transport and for care is the public transport railways roads median and kultur is the cultural um, uh, aspects of germany wasser is water finance und versicherungswesen is finance and insurance companies er ernährung means uh, the food and start on verwaltung is the government itself that is the state administration so friends i strongly recommend please google and find out which companies are engaged in these areas and try to connect with their hrs and their hiring managers again i would like to recommend here friends do not blindly send your resumes to these people uh, you will probably stuck a wall and your application will be outright rejected instead please follow the laid down principles or the expected uh, procedure i would strongly recommend you please have a look at my other videos wherein i have mentioned how to trans how to form your resume in german template although it may be in english language but you should use the german template along with it the cover letter is mandatory thing which is treated as a additional burden but it is mandatory you should send a personalized addressed cover letter every time whenever you send a application so make sure you follow those things which i have explained in my previous videos as well apart from this friends i would also highly recommend try to project your profile as a technical person instead of a, a manager kind of thing because germany expects people to be as technical oriented as much as possible in especially if they are uh, try, if they are recruiting uh, candidates from outside of eu or at least outside of germany apart from this if you are inclined towards managerial positions then i would strongly recommend please brush up your german language if you were to interact with people around maybe clients customers outsource parties or something then you should speak fluent german however if you were to work as a sock analyst or a firewall specialist or kind of a network security specialist then you probably need not interact with with many people and you can uh, manage with english language as well also most of the firewall products or sock products like elastic qradar or any other, any other such tools they normally work only in english language so you won't have a tough time um, getting through the language barrier here apart from this i also wanted to tell you one more important thing if you just find out um uh, just google it grund shoots compendium uh, i i forgot to add 2022 2022 now i strongly recommend friends please have a look at this document this is a real real elaborate document and it has 900 pages this is a collection it's kind of a bible of cyber security uh, laid down principles in germany and you'll see there are many many areas for example if you see ops.1.2.6 so ops is basically a baustein in the words of german language baustein means building blocks so likewise there are some eight or nine building blocks like application security operations or uh, you can just check out bausteins bsi baustein um let me check yeah so here you see these are the bausteins that is the building blocks isms it zero heights management orps organization and personal con is conception conception by the way means manuals and forgensweise means procedures operations that is betrieb detection and reaction is der app is anwendungen that is applications sys is it systems like servers and all that stuff ind is industrial it 
net is uh, network and communication inf is infrastructure so friends these are the bow steins on the basis of which the complete it security setup is laid down in germany and just to give you um, kind of a brief outline here if you see this ops.1.2 and this pdf document explains about this bow stein however if i go into that 900 page compendium and i just search here this baustein that is ops.1.2 so this baustein also you will find here in this document um, you may be required to go through multiple clicks and then you will find it for sure so what i mean to say is friends this 900 pages document is actually a collection of all the bausteins and if you are really serious about getting through in german market I strongly recommend please have a look at these also now you may please google it there is an English version of this bow this compendium also and that will definitely help you out apart from this there are close to 800 controls uh, which are mentioned here and uh, you can you can assume or you can consider them at at contrast with ISMS which holds only 118 controls so this gives a fair idea that the IT security setup in Germany is really, really wide. Uh, it's a huge and it covers almost all aspects of cyber security. Friends, if you have made up to this point, I strongly recommend you please take a moment and see my other videos. I will paste the link of my playlist in description as well. In case if you have any doubts or any comments, please feel free to post them in comment section. I will be more than happy to make exclusive videos for you and consider subscribing to my channel as well. See you, bye-bye.